I'd just like to thank Dale Photographic for making these videos possible. Without them, I wouldn't have had the D500 to make these series of videos that are going to come up over the next four days. Basically, the D500 is going to be every single camera that I've had from them and all cameras that I've had. And we're going to put it to test on the dynamic range and the ISO. And another high again. This is another D500 video. And um, we're going to put it head to head this time against its big brother, its real big brother, the Nikon D850. In this video, we're going to look at the dynamic range of the D500 and the D850, and we'll see how they compare. Bearing in mind the D850 is a lot newer, but we'll still do the video for something to do, and we can be nosy and, and see how we get on. Well, welcome to the Nikon D500. These, the D850, the big brother. Uh, we'll just go and just check that I've got the right camera selected under metadata. We'll see we've got the D500 on the left, and we should have the D850 on the right and we'll go to them all, we'll go to develop, so that's the D500 and then we've got on the right hand side which is over here, this here is the D850 the D500 is this camera there, right so without further ado we're just going to look at the before and after all these images have been raised three full stops, I underexposed every one of them three full stops now I could have gone four and five and stuff like that but I think three is adequate to, to tell us what we need to know. So you'll see that the base ISO on the D500 is 100. So if I press the compare key and we go across to the base ISO on the D850, it's 64. So basically D500 is on the left, I'll just dim the lights, and D850 is on the right. And they've both been raised three full stops. So if we just zoom in and we take a look about, you'll see that I can't really see a difference. I've just been having a butchers and I can't see any difference in any of them. They've both raised up three full stops and even four full stops at no loss whatsoever. Absolutely both stunning cameras. Um, we'll just go back to the develop module and take the compare key off. Compare key off. And I'll just show you the before and after on the D500. Oh dear. On the D500, that's how it came out of the camera. And that's how it is with three full stops of compensation on. And if we just go and have a look at the Nikon D850, this is base ISO 64 out of the camera and raised three full stops. So with that being said, we'll jump away from the base ISO now and we'll start off at 1600 and we'll go to the 1600 on the right. So remember, D500 is always on the left and the D850 is on the right and we'll get through this video quick because as we do a lot of these comparison videos we'll just zoom in. So this is ISO 1600. Uh, we'll just have a look at the cameras there. So I'll let you scoot and eyes away. I'll give you one, two, three, four, five. Very good. Let's move up here where the, the light's more even. See what you can see. I think they both look absolutely fantastic. If we sort of go to the nitty gritty of the shadows, um, I'm trying to get down here and it's up here. You can see that maybe the D850 might be a little bit less clean, but that's only because it's like double the megapixels. Um, so you'd expect that anyway, but it's near enough the same. Um, so if we was to downscale it, it'd look a lot better, but we're not going to do that for the purpose of these videos. We'll now go to 3200. Uh, just check, so left hand side D500, right hand side D850, we'll just go and have a look at those shadows again before we continue anywhere else, somewhere there, so you can look up here and you can look down here, I'll just shift tab, um, now we'll go and have a look at the cameras, one, two, three, four, five, that's plenty enough, and we'll go and have a look here, and I'm saying that it's near enough a tie. Again, I'd say the D500 may look a touch cleaner, but that's only because it's 20 somewhat megapixels less. Um, so that's obviously going to happen. But I mean, the both in the ballpark, the both look absolutely fantastic. We'll now jump to 6400. Now, let's just uh, shift tab and dim the lights. I'm starting to see more noise in the D500 now without even zooming in at all. Um, we'll just zoom in now though and we'll just go and have a look at the two cameras side by side, we'll just let them load and I'll let you make a decision from here what, what do you think? I mean they, they look fantastic both of them really I mean 
let's be right about it. I've said it before in my other videos, and anybody who's quite new to photography, you shouldn't really be underexposing your image three full stops at anything really above 1632 at a very push, especially on a Nikon, you can get away with it, but I wouldn't want to do it on a Canon. But there you go. We'll just do last but least now, we'll do 12,800. Um, we'll just shift tab, we'll dim the lights, just have a little look at them there. And then we'll just zoom in and look at the cameras. And I'll just let you scrutinise them now. Then I'll turn the lights back on. I'll shift tab. I'll zoom back out. I mean, these are poo, really. You shouldn't be doing this. Now, this is... Oh, that's it. That's it. We did the base ISO to start off with. So there you go. There's the Nikon D500 V's D850 dynamic range. What would my verdict be? The near enough were the same, with the D500 looking a little bit cleaner, up to 3200. Um, but that's to be expected, as it's 50-60% less megapixels. So, Jesus Christ, that means the D850 is an absolute stunning camera. But, the way I do a test, I wouldn't downscale the D850 to 20 megapixels to match a D500, because that's an unfair test. If you buy a D850, you're buying it for the megapixels, why would you want me to test it with only showing half of its capabilities? Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe, and a big thumbs up would be fantastic. And if you want to see any certain videos, please send me an email or a comment in the below, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you.